This is more fun than you can imagine. We are meeting some of the best people. I mean, we're meeting high school seniors that get it. We're meeting people who kind of lost hope in the political process some time ago that are kind of rejuvenated. And we're just meeting great supporters everywhere we go. And it is a tremendous amount of fun. Normally, I'd love to start and introduce myself. I look around this room, I think I know most of you. But I will uh, share this just before I start talking about and answering your questions and talking about some philosophies. I'll, I want to share with you just the logistics of how this works. Uh, if you'd have told me a year or so ago that I would consider running in a Republican primary against a sitting Republican first-term governor, I would say, nope, that's not how it works. I won't do that. But our Republican governor, who's a good friend of mine, uh, took a series of missteps that made himself unreelectable. And so I had to look at that scenario and say, I can watch him lose in the primary and hand it off to somebody who would like to uh, create a more liberal scenario than we have right now, or I can do this myself. And I ended up with the latter. So we've been campaigning this year for the better part of this year. The primary election is in June of next year. That is a change from the past. Nobody here in the state of Nevada has ever had a primary in June, but September back to June. So there will be now be a five-month spread between the primary and the general. It looks like on the Republican side, although we won't know until filing in January and February, it looks like there will be at least three, including our current governor running on the Republican side, and at least two on the Democratic side. But I want to tell you here in North Las Vegas, let me give you a little history that I find very important because it's about it's, it's just like the state of Nevada. We had everything you need to just build a city exactly like you wanted it to look like. And yet we didn't have a plan in place. We didn't have a vision. And the city leaders allowed it to be Northtown. They were okay with that. Saying that's just it's where people land if they don't land anywhere else. And I said, no, this is not, uh, not acceptable. We're going to put a plan in place, and here's what we're going to do. We've got a couple thousand employees, and we've got over a thousand people a month moving into this city. That's a great asset. Let's make sure they all have the same vision so that when they work hard all day, they're all working toward an end to what we've actually accomplished something. Because people will work hard all day long with or without any vision. They just get more done when they're all working toward a similar vision. That's exactly where the state of Nevada currently sits. Tremendous resources in this state. And the majority of those resources, I mean, we've got all the standard ones. You hear it all the time. We've got sun and wind, and we can do solar energy and alternative energy. We have those things. But we've got us. We have people that are willing to work hard, people that are willing to be creative, but we have to give them the incentive to do so. You can't take away incentive and then wonder why people aren't willing to excel. You just can't do that. It's not going to happen. Now, we've got a problem in our nation right now. Nationwide, there is a problem. And the problem is that people think we have leaders that believe you can take away incentive, average everything, and people will still have a desire to excel. It just falls apart. Well, here in our state, we have an opportunity to prove them wrong, to have a little friendly competition. There's no reason Nevada can't say, we'd like to be a little better than Utah, or Colorado, or Wyoming, or Idaho, or California. That's easy. Uh, we, we would like to excel. And you can't tell us that we have to do it exactly like everybody else and then wonder why we're not excelling. And so I said, well, I've got an opportunity here. I could raise my voice, go back to Washington, fight for these things, be one of the 535 that make up our legislature there, or bring it right home, do it right here where we've got it. And that's what I've decided to do, is keep it right here. 
in the state of Nevada.